Welcome to the California Arts Council's Statewide and Regional Networks Overview Presentation. The program specialist for the SRN program is Leslie Giovannini, pronouns she, her. We would like to begin by carrying forward the California Arts Council practice of recognizing the original people and caretakers of these sacred lands within and throughout the region we now refer to as Sacramento, the location of the CAC offices and the space from which we are offering you this workshop today. The California Arts Council stands in solidarity with all of California's indigenous people. We acknowledge that our work takes place on the now occupied traditional lands of the Miwok, Maidu, and Nisanon people who are the past, present, and future stewards of this place. We make this step this first step in our journey to develop relationships and cultural competencies to truly support native sovereignty. For closed captions, click the closed caption button within your Zoom or viewing platform and select show subtitle. We have a lot to cover in our time together. Here's a look at what we'll be presenting today. We'll go over the CAC website and grant page, general eligibility for CAC programs, introduction to grant programs, application elements and how to apply, and additional applicant resources. You can find information about all of our programs on our website, arts.ca.gov, by clicking on the Grants tab. Funding opportunities are listed under the Grant Programs and Applications section. Once you reach the Grant Programs and Applications page, individual programs can be viewed. Each program has a landing page that contains a brief description of the program, contact information, links to download the guidelines, and other information. Below list the Arts Program Specialist or Grant Program Manager's name. You can also find a link to email them directly. We also have a grant resources page where you can find additional information around our fiscal sponsorship policy, in-kind matching information, online application login process, online application system registration information, both a PDF and a video covering the process, and our ranking guide. Each grant category has program-specific eligibility and project requirements, so make sure to review the guidelines carefully, but there are some general eligibility criteria to keep in mind. Applicants must be nonprofit organizations, units of municipal or county government, or eligible organizations with a California-based nonprofit fiscal sponsor. Units of government also include California Native or Indigenous tribal governments. All activities and organizations, including fiscal sponsors, must be based in California. All applicant organizations, including fiscal sponsors, must be able to demonstrate a two-year history of arts programming and or services in California. This group of grant programs are intended for organizational applicants. Now we'll get into the program specifics. The statewide and regional networks program intends to contribute to the health and vitality of the creative workforce in California by creating a resilient network of arts service organizations and artists. The maximum request amount is 50,000 for one year. State local partner, cultural pathways and GenOps applicants are not eligible for SRN support in the same fiscal year. This grant does require one-to-one -one matching funds, and the program specialist is Leslie Giovannini. The panel's rankings are based on the review criteria in the guidelines. All of our programs include equity and accessibility review criteria. The other review criteria are all program specific. There is language defining each criterion in the guidelines, as well as the applications and requirements that the panelists will use to assess each criterion. The first one is centering equity for an inclusive arts landscape. In this section, organizations will demonstrate understanding, capacity, and ongoing commitment to building equity across the arts through inclusive policies, practices, projects, partnerships, and leadership. 
Organizations will also demonstrate how they serve and prioritize communities with the highest levels of need, as indicated by the California Healthy Places Index, or HPI. What has inspired your organization to incorporate or evolve policies and programming that uses the arts as a tool to transform and or express culture? Describe the approaches your organization has taken or will take to center, uplift, and involve historically underserved communities that fall within the lowest quartile of the HPI in your region. The term underserved communities refers to populations disproportionately impacted by systemic exclusion in policy settings or historical decision-making processes. Neighborhood by neighborhood, the HPI maps data on social conditions that drive health, like education, job opportunities, clean air, and water. This data is used by community leaders, policymakers, academics, and other stakeholders to compare the health and well being of communities, identify health inequities, and quantify the factors that shape health. How does your organization represent and create equitable opportunities for historically excluded artists, cultural practitioners, or arts and cultural practices? Describe the actions you have taken to build trust and ongoing relationships with the identified communities, artists, and cultural practitioners. Address how you A, plan to evaluate success for the proposal and what success will look like, and B, will listen and respond to the diverse needs of the communities and artists slash cultural practitioners through the project. Our next criterion is management and leadership. Demonstrates ability to fulfill programs and services identified in proposal in a sustainable manner. Organization provides evidence of strategies to strengthen organizational capacity, ensure appropriate leadership and compensation for staff, employ effective governance policies, and maintain a structure that is representative of the network. Organization provides evidence of strong fiscal and managerial health, including diversity of revenue sources. When applicable, fiscal sponsor demonstrates effective fiscal management and sound relationship with the applicant organization. Complete a two-year budget snapshot table. Provide revenue and expense amounts. Address any significant changes in line items from one year to the next and explain anticipated surpluses or deficits. Upload a matching funds table. Indicate the source type, identify the source, enter the amount, and indicate the status, committed, pending, or projected. Provide evidence of the following. Strategies to strengthen organizational capacity, ensure appropriate leadership and compensation for staff, employ effective governance policies, and maintain a structure that is representative of the network. Provide the executive summary for your organization's current strategic plan. If a current strategic plan is not in place, use up to two pages to describe any existing policies and or procedures and timeline for developing a strategic plan. Provide a brief biography for each key individual involved in administrative, artistic, or programmatic leadership positions within your organization. Include name, title, relevant experience, and role. Provide a current list of board of directors, commissioners, committee, or other appropriate members of your governing body. Letters of support. Please provide up to two signed letters from key stakeholders, partners, or collaborators. Letters should substantiate the quality of the organization, its programs and services, and affirm the organization's impact on its constituents. Our next criterion is statewide or regional services. Contributes to the health and vitality of an identified network of artists, creators, tradition bearers, and or arts and cultural organizations. Programs and or services provide engagement and access throughout all counties and or municipalities within the statewide or regional network. Clearly identify the specific network of artists, 
creators, tradition bearers, and or arts and cultural organizations directly served through practical services. Select all activities and services that your organization provides to the identified network. Art skills, arts advocacy, career services, communications, marketing services, mentorships, networking events, professional development opportunities, re-granting, or other. Describe how your organization contributes to the health and vitality of the identified network through the selected activities and services. Provide details on the activities and services selected above, as well as any other activities and services not listed. Describe any organizational efforts to preserve, promote, and protect specific ethnic, cultural, and or artistic disciplines. Describe how programs and or services provide engagement and access throughout all counties and or municipalities within the statewide or regional network. If statewide, please describe your impact and relevance in northern, southern, and central regions of California. If regional, please describe your impact and relevance in counties and municipalities served. Include in this description how constituents access the organization's services and activities. Include outreach methods, criteria for joining, if applicable, and any cost associated with participation. Provide at least one, but no more than three work samples that best portray your organization and its work. These may include artistic work, press materials, flyers, brochures, programs, newsletters, and other marketing pieces. Samples should have been created within the past three years and be relevant to this grant opportunity. Our last criterion is accessibility and accommodations. Demonstrates that its programs, services, information, and facilities where funded activities are to take place, including online spaces, will be accessible for individuals with disabilities, including but not limited to individuals who are deaf, hard of hearing, deaf blind, have difficulty speaking, have a physical disability, visual disability, developmental disability, learning disability, mental illness, or chronic illness. Describe your organization's approach, including allocation of financial resources, to ensuring the accessibility of programs and services and inclusion of people with disabilities. Describe both physical and communication accessibility, including in-person and online activities. Describe how your organization offers people with disabilities a way to request an accommodation to access programs and services. Consider organizational personnel and any partnering organizations, as well as the participants and beneficiaries of arts programming and services, including creatives with disabilities and potential audience members in your response. Identify the primary individual who will be responsible for managing accessibility for your organization. This may be a program manager, accessibility coordinator, or other staff member of the applicant organization. Include their name, title, phone number, and email address in the fields provided. For step-by-step -step instructions on how to register your organization through our grants management system to apply, please view the 2023 Grant Applicant Website and Registration Overview video that can be found on our Grant Resources page. All applicants will complete a budget snapshot table listing a minimum of two years of revenue and expense totals. The budget snapshot requires this information for the past two fiscal years. The most recent should match this field in your application. Where there is a matching fund requirement, you will also complete a table showing the sources where you intend to draw your matching support from. Again, matching your request one to one. For artistic work samples, you will want to make sure that they are recent and relevant to the project proposal, clearly feature and or identify lead artists, choose a medium that best fits your proposed project outcomes, and keep in mind you're limited to three examples and each type of work sample has instructions on length. Additional work samples or samples that exceed the requested length will not be considered by panelists. 
And finally, clearly label work and give the panelists any relevant contextual or medium information in the work samples notes field. Remember, work samples will not receive higher or lower ranks based on their production quality. For example, a video taken on a phone is great. It doesn't have to be overly produced. We have additional applicant resources available. We have our CAC grant resources webpage with prior applicant webinars and training recordings, our grant applicant FAQs. CAC staff regularly updates the FAQs page to better assist our applicants. So please review this page for immediate assistance when applying. And virtual office hours. For further questions you may have, you're welcome to attend the following virtual office hour via Zoom. Wednesday, May 31st from 1 to 2 p.m. So mark your calendars. The deadline for SRN is June 6th at 11.59 p.m. No exceptions will be made. All application components must be uploaded and completed before then. We cannot accept any additional materials or information past the application deadline, so please plan ahead. We highly encourage you to review our extensive FAQ page for additional information. If you have a specific question that is not covered in the FAQs, feel free to contact Leslie. We strive to respond to all inquiries. However, due to the high volume, we must respond in the order they are received. We highly encourage you to review all the resources on our site and reach out with questions early in the application period. We will do our best to assist, but cannot guarantee assistance close to the application deadline. This concludes today's CAC presentation. Thank you for the work each of you are doing improving the lives of Californians in your communities through the arts. We look forward to continuing with you on this journey and seeing your application submissions. Thank you and be well.